I'm Ray Peck, I'm Elijah Van Trump, and I'm Alex Soto, and you're watching another edition of KPTV Panther, Panther Television. Television. agriculture program. The future generation of farmers hone their skills at the Cass Career Center in Harrisonville. The agriculture division in Cass Career gives juniors and seniors across Cass County a chance to learn about the agriculture industry. Traditional school not offering enough intel about the agriculture industry, Lane Smallstreet, a senior who has been involved in Cass Career for two years, believes the program gives her an alternative to learn about her desired occupation. It just makes it to where it's such a different learning experience and we can focus so much so much on what we want to continue on in, as our career goals. The students are currently practicing their hunter's etiquette. They held a competitive archery tournament as a way to train and bow hunting. Instructor Jason Deeker used archery as a way to further his students' knowledge about their current unit. One of the classes that we're teaching is conservation of natural resources and we're doing hunter education. So today we were shooting bows and arrows and, and learning how archery uh, to safely shoot. The Cash Career Center offers students a way to prepare for their aspiring career paths. Katie Baumgartner another agriculture student feels that Cass Career Center provides an education that is more useful to her and her future career than regular schooling. You're, you're learning more things that you would use for an actual job and it's also very hands-on which I like. The agriculture students appreciate Cass Career's unique teaching style. Smallsbury believes one of the benefits of Cass Career learning style is the non-traditional classroom approach. One of my teachers in particular is he works really hard to show students like th school is more than just doing your assignments. You have to like know to work with your teachers. A key component in the agricultural program curriculum is hands-on learning. Deeker thinks the use of the kinesthetic teaching method helps students be more engaged in what they are learning. I like any unit that really involves a lot of hands-on work because I think learning something out of a book is important because we have to have that base knowledge, but anything that we can go and apply something to the real world context, uh, how it's going to help us in our uh, daily lives, I think that's so exciting to teach because the students, the light bulbs goes on in, in students' minds and they get excited about what they're learning. If you're looking to join Cass Career Center next year, make sure to contact Christina Fish at the counselor's office. This has been Elisha Johnson of KPTV, Pastor Television. Wow, your bow skills are sick. Do you have your Christmas lights up already? Because some weird people do. Keeler Heath goes around town and shows our community's Christmas spirit. It's that time of year again. With Thanksgiving behind us and the time of giving upon us, stores and homeowners alike are moving full speed ahead into the holiday season. But some people deck the halls earlier than others. You've no doubt seen stores with Christmas items being sold long before the holiday season comes around. And for some students and their families, their decorations are no different. Um, yeah, kind of. My mom put up decorations at, like, October. Uh, yes, usually my parents start at, like, early November. Meanwhile, others choose to start the festivities at a more conventional date. So we put up our Christmas lights probably a couple days after Thanksgiving. Um, we just do it whenever we're home so that we can obviously see them right when they're done. While some like to transition right out of Christmas, a decent amount of families like to make the holiday season last, even taking down decorations late into the new year. Um, probably a couple weeks after winter break. In like February. Like. Probably like February, maybe too lazy. As we've seen, the range of dates that some people can have decorations up can go from early October all the way up to right before Valentine's Day in February. That's a pretty long time for the Christmas joy to last. Whether someone puts their Christmas lights up too early or takes them down too late is up for debate. But no matter what your opinion is, you can't deny that they certainly have a lot of Christmas spirit. This has been Keeler Heath with KPTV Panther Television. Our community is truly absolutely beautiful. Next up, Chance Embry takes us to the field report. Thanks, guys. 
Young Life Club is this Thursday, so come out for a party on a school night. Also, don't forget to sign up for Winter Weekend Camp before December 1st for a discount. This is a four-day camp at Clearwater Cove at Lake of the Ozarks. Much fun is to come that weekend. Follow at Ray Peck Young Life on Instagram or see Mrs. Roberts for details. The Marriage Christmas Lighting is this December 3rd on Friday at TV Hannah Station Park. Come to see the new big Christmas tree be lit up, see Santa, or even go ice skating for free at the rink. This event starts at 6 p.m. and the weather will be a little bit chilly, so make sure to bring a jacket. Track and field off-season conditioning for sprinters, jumpers, and throwers has now begun. If interested, you'll meet on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the weight room at 3 o'clock and include at 4.30. Be prepared for indoor and outdoor activities. If you're interested in distance running, in events such as the 800 meters, mile, or two mile, the meet meets every day in the weight room as well. Don't forget to come out and cheer on the boys' basketball team at the game this Friday at 7 p.m. for a home playing battle high school. Themes blackout. The winter book drive begins next Monday, December 6th, and runs through Friday, December 17th. Student Council is accepting donations of books for all ages. Collection boxes can be found in the library, front office, freshman office, and Mr. Moore's room. Email Bailey Rowe with any questions. Saving Christmas is Saturday from 12 to 2 at the South Middle School. Bring elementary age siblings, cousins, or any family with, any, with an item to donate and come see Santa. See some fun decorations and play some Christmas games. See the Raypec Now social media page for new fire. And hey Panthers, RPHS Sources of Strength is launching their You Belong campaign this week. You're sure to notice all the fun and meaningful activities throughout this week. Be sure to check your email because Mr. Miller sent a Google form where you can participate in Sources of Strength photo exhibition at the end of this week. Ask me, Chance Embry, or Mrs. Colombato for any questions. Last but not least, auditions for the winter play productions of The Play That Goes Wrong and Freshman and Sophomore Newcomer Play show all in the timing have been happening this week. So don't forget to come out and see this play later this winter. But last but not least, please, but back to the boys. Thanks, Chance. We appreciate it, homie. Do you guys want to see a bunch of dads play games? Well, if not, that's too bad, because we're shooting over to Peyton Hefner's story about this, and it sounds pretty interesting. On Monday, November 15th, a boys versus dad event for the basketball players was hosted by the boys basketball team. Around 40 kids came out to play with their dads and have a good time. This event was sponsored by Coach Jermaine, Coach Lewis, and Coach Liebarger. They made stations with the games in the main gym and in the aux gym. The coaches were trying to show students how to have respect and appreciate their fathers or their male support people for everything they do. Some of the games they competed in included making paper airplanes and then seeing how far they could fly or seeing who could get a cookie in their mouth first with it starting on their forehead. Other activities were a cup pong game that students enjoyed and a cool game that was in the main gym with the metal circles and you had to try to get them stacked straight with using a stick. Other activities were basketball where students and their dads had to try and throw the ball into the basketball hoop many times. All of these games are helping students have fun with their dad and appreciate them and have students pause for a moment and listen to their mentors and learn valuable lessons on leadership from their mentors. Coach Jermaine had other students from a another school at each station explaining what they were doing and making it fun time for them and also cheering them on. After all the fun games, they got a yummy dessert and, and had a closing talk. Jermaine and all of the other coaches plan on doing this again in the future because it turned out good, and students had fun with this. This is Peyton Hefner signing off with KVTV Panther Television. Wow, that is so interesting. I want to do something like that one day. Now we have Alexander Kimball giving us the weather. Thank you, guys. If you can't look on your phone or the local news channel for the weather, for the weather I got you. All right, so let's look at today. Today's so going to be super warm uh, with a high of 74 and a low of 46, so uh, get some uh, winter tanning in. It's very unusual for the weather to be this high in December, so enjoy it. Um, so tomorrow we're looking to experience a high of 67. It's going to be another nice day, um, and we're going to see a low of 38. It's going to be partly cloudy. Um, so Saturday looks to be um, a full day of sunshine with a high of 52 and a low of 34, mostly sunny, of course. Uh, taking a look at Sunday, it's going to be the Chiefs are going to take off from the Broncos. Um, it's going to be a high of 55 and a low of 32, partly cloudy. Moving on to the start of next week. On Monday, we get a high of 52 with a low of 39. Okay. On uh, Tuesday, we see a high of 55 and a low of 30. On Wednesday, we see the average temperature drop a little bit with it being 45 and a low of being 26. Um, and going on to Thursday, we'll see the temperature rise into the 50s again with a high of 53 and a low of 36. Thank you, guys. Back to you. Incredible, Alex. Sounds exhilarating. Sounds like winter's coming. How about them reindeers? Next, we pass it over to Elijah O'Brien as he talks about the upcoming sports news in the area. Thanks, Elijah. 
The Chiefs are coming off a strong week, preparing for their next game after having a bye week. Hosted at home, they're facing the Denver Broncos, who just upset the Chargers, all trying to keep the win streak alive, especially as we get closer to the playoffs. On to college football. The Kansas Jayhawks played their final game in West Virginia in Lawrence and having not coming on top, but having a tragic season ender. The Mizzou Tigers also played their final game in Arkansas this last weekend, not coming on top, but still not having a terrible season, so ending in 6-6. Six and six. Switching now to college basketball. The Jayhawks played three games last week, winning two of the three, putting their record of 5-1, and one, getting a good start to the season. The Tigers also played three games last week, losing two of the three and putting their record of 4-3, and three, landing them 14th in the division. Raypeck didn't play any games last week because of the Thanksgiving break, but this Saturday, the wrestling team competes at Leavenworth for their first tournament. Go cheer them on. And that's it for Raypeck. Back to you guys. Wow, that sounds unstoppable. Do you like Christmas music? Probably not. Well, Katarina goes around to school and see how many, peop or how many Christmas songs people know. I'm Katarina Rudolph, and this is this week's edition of Hallway Talk. Which teacher do you want to compete against? Miss Rowland. Okay, name as many Christmas movies as you can go. Elf, Santa Claus Don't 1, up. Santa Claus 2, Don't Santa Claus 3. Don't Stop. Don't Stop. Don't um, Don't uh, Jack Don't Frost. Um, <laughs> oh, um, um, uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That counts. Yeah, that counts. Um, uh, do you want to go against Benicky or Cruz? Cruz. Name as many Christmas songs as you can go. Rudolph, Red Nose Reindeer. Uh, Saw Mommy, Kitten, and Santa Claus. <laughs> Here comes Santa Claus, Christmas and Hollis. Uh, do you hear what I hear? Our <laughs> candy Christmas, last Christmas, Merry Christmas. I don't want to fight tonight, something like that. Uh, <laughs> Grandma got ran over by Redo. I choose Benicky. Okay, you have 20 seconds. Name as many Christmas decorations as you can go. Garland, wreath, candle, ornament, Christmas tree, Christmas lights. Candy cane, blow up snowman, blow up Santa, blow up reindeer. Five seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> this has been Katarina Rudolph with KPTV Panther Television. <laughs> Jack Frost one, Jack Frost two. That was awesome. Well, that should include our show. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Roto One Million, like and subscribe for a chance to win a free PS5. And no, it's not a scam. Barbara has it in his closet. Well, this has been another edition of KP, KP TV Panther Television. Television.